Hey guys, and welcome back to my 18th episode of my playthrough of The Witcher 3 DLC, Blood and Wine. And I was off to try to find the White Slayer to continue on with the main storyline. Oopsie, I did not mean to accidentally pop that guy with Axie, but I'll take it. Oof. So, if you guys remember, in the last two episodes or so, so I've spent a lot of time upgrading my armor to Grandmaster. So I still have the feline uh, Grandmaster armor, which um, the vanilla appearance of it has a hood covering Geralt's head, and I've installed a mod that lowers the hood. So the hood's still back there, if you see right there. Yeah, you can still see the hood, but at least now you can see Geralt's head, so it looks a lot less stupid. Let's see what loot this guy has. And I switched away from Wolven Swords to Ursine Swords because I felt they were more applicable. So I'm not getting the bonus from the Ursine set uh, for having either three or six pieces because obviously I'm only using two. But that is fine with me and should now be doing a lot more damage now that I have um, Grandmaster Swords and I have an extra 20% Quen Sign Intensity as well. Um, from upgrading my armor to Grandmaster. So this Foglet Slayer should be... Oops. Wait, not Foglet Slayer, White Slayer. Okay, so I guess I need to kill some more Foglets. Not a problem. <clears throat> wow, I do not know my, why my voice just cracked, oh boy. This is what I get from pulling an almost all-nighter, studying for a midterm, and then immediately getting out of the midterm and trying to record Witcher 3. <laughs> Okay, it looks like... Never a good omen. Hey, come on, just die. Nope, he's probably gonna bleed to death, to be honest. Yep, no problem there. Okay, so I think I don't actually have to kill this Foglet. I mean, why do I keep saying Foglet? I mean the white. Although, I'm debating whether or not... I have a duty to kill it because witchers purposefully drove them to be extinct, although clearly there's one left. So is it my duty as a witcher to kill it, or do I spare it because clearly since no one knew it was alive, it isn't actually hurting anybody. So what the hell is down here? Raven wasn't lying. Spoons all over the place. Oh boy. Okay, I'm just gonna kill all these guys. I don't see these spoons Geralt's mentioning, but I'll get there. Come on. Okay, is that everyone? I think I'm good. What's this? Not sure how much of that I have. Oh, wow. I thought those were just wind chimes, but nope, they are definitely spoons. Strange. Get a sense that the spoons are beating out some kind of rhythm. A message. Trying to tell me something. Maybe, like, don't kill me, Witcher, please. <laughs> it's so quiet. Oh boy. This white is not going to be happy. Wait, None shall why did I just grow a beard? Your table. No spoon you have shall say to you. Never again shall you wish to spy your reflection in the mirror. Sounds like a curse, all right. Oh, the white's been cur- it, Oh, it's a curse. Maybe I can lift it. And I don't have to kill it. Somebody's clearly obsessed. Regis mentioned the place might be cursed. Can't be a coincidence. Need to look around. Okay, I'm gonna try to not kill the white then and lift the curse. Need to search it thoroughly. Find a way to collect some white saliva. White's obsessed. A real collector. Thoroughbred. This is just slightly ridiculous. Spoon. Pretty ordinary. Maybe a little old. Spoon's okay. incredible. The craftsmanship. Must have graced a rich man's table. Okay, opening that was just incredibly creepy. A stained diary? 
I should probably open that up and read it. The Stained Diary. Let's read it. For a few days now, I've been having dizzy spells. I've never experienced anything like this before. If it carries on, although I can't stand witchcraft and sorcery, I'll have to visit an herbalist. The dizziness has not gone away. Worst of all, it's been joined by pain, so strong that at times I cannot see. I've been to the herbalist. A repulsive old crone looked at me like she had seen a monster. She gave me some cursed mixture that I have to drink twice a day. It's not helping at all. Today, like every day, I looked in the mirror and I was, <laughs> I was lost for words. I usually check that I don't have any wrinkles or bags under my eyes, but today, there are no wrinkles. But I'd rather <laughs> that there were. I have hair growing on my breasts. It's horrible. It's got to be because of those damned herbs. I went to the herbalist to smash her face in, but her chambers were empty. Wow, this is a long story. She must have known what would happen to me and legged it. My family is starting to suspect something, although I am cutting the hair back, which is growing back faster and faster. I've tried to put the idea out of my head, but I can't hold it back any longer. Maybe it wasn't the herbs that have led to this, but a curse placed upon me by an old beggar whom I had to chase off one time. I have to find out. I want to hire someone who can find the herbalist. I cannot think, and it's getting hard to write. Loneliness. No family. Eat. I want to eat. Not a good spoon. Empty spoons. Nothing. Eat. It hurts. Nearer. Lies. No. Ah. Okay, so Poor some woman... Realized she was changing into a monster. Recorded it in her diary. Poignant. Shit. I hear monster noises and it's really creeping me out. Wow, why did I loot that? I knew it was just going to be spoons. What is this of? Smashed mirror. Oh, so it's a someone mirror. couldn't stand to look at themselves. The monster. Journal's author, maybe? Likely. Wow. No spoon you have shall sate you. Whatever lives here treated that literally. Still searching for the right spoon. Okay, so maybe she's cursed and... She literally cannot eat anything unless she eats it with a very particular spoon. Besides that, nothing will ever make her full. Another spoon. Yep, just as normal as the last one. So she's been starving for out who knows how many years, just waiting to find the right spoon. A spoon key. Sophisticated crafting. Tag bears a description. White's a true collector. Do I have to read the spoon key note? Nope, it's... Okay, it's just like a mold, I think. It's not actually a note. White's obsessed. A real collector. Thoroughbred. Okay, apparently we've exhausted Geralt's uh, commentary on spoons. Um, why are there three dead people at a dinner table? Skeletons. Doubt they came here willingly. This have anything to do with the curse? None shall sit and dine with you at your table. It'd make sense. This is just bizarre. Decaying letter? More spoons. Why do I keep doing this to myself? Let's read this letter. Maybe it's different from the diary. Decaying letter? Letter to the detective? Dear Master Levasseur, <laughs> I know you track outlaws for pay. I have an unusual assignment for you. No doubt you wonder why I have drawn you out here and why we cannot meet in person. You see, in my present situation, any kind of meeting is very risky. Not so much for me, as for the person with whom I meet, for I am afflicted by a curse, or, as I hope, and why I turn to you, the side effects of medicine given to me some time ago by a herbalist. Soon after I visited this herbalist, she disappeared without trace. I desperately wish to understand my illness, so I wish to hire you to find her. When you do, learn as much from her as you can about the medicine she gave me. If my suffering is a result of her wickedness, then make her provide an antidote. I assure you I have ample wealth and will reward you with, with no small part of it for your services. If it turns out my suffering is not the fault of the herbalist, 
Please let her go. Oh, okay, so this person's quite reasonable then. I will then have a different task for you, because this shall mean I am afflicted by a terrible curse which only the gods can cure. I believe it was cast upon me by a certain beggar who came by the manor while I was hosting a soiree for a few friends. If you can find that vagrant, I promise to pay you double. Sadly, all I remember of him is that he sold mirrors. I am aware that this is not much aid for your hunt, yet I trust in your considerable talents and wish you the best of luck. Marlene de Trastamara. Okay, so what it sounds like then is that a beggar came to the manor trying to just peddle his wares, you know, get some money, and she probably turned him away rudely. So the beggar cursed her, saying, You won't look at yourself in the mirror, you think you're so, like, you think you're hot shit, you won't even have people to eat with you anymore. So that's my guess. Oh, and let's go into the basement. So this clearly must have been a really nice big house back before it got cursed. Uh, actually does seem like a white's lair. Bit atypical, but still. Cauldron should be somewhere around here. So, th will the cauldron have the white spit in it? I could probably just steal the spit and go. White's not particularly tidy. Table set. White who lives here is getting ready for some sort of feast. White that lives here, definitely afflicted by a curse. And it's been trying desperately to lift it. That makes it sound like it's still sentient. And is aware that it's cursed then. Cauldron's empty, unfortunately. He just needs some brew. I'm afraid he won't get that. No choice but to hide and wait for the saliva glands and their bearer. Need a spot that'll let me observe the cauldron. Yikes. You know what? I'm gonna loot. Oh, see? There we go. It's actually worth looting all these because not everything is filled with spoons. What is this? Oh, mutation. I will take that. And I want to know what's down here, though. It seems to be getting louder. Thousands of them here. White's been a collector for years. God, this is so creepy. Let me just climb up here real quick. Grab the loot and then I'm gonna go hide. Oh, words of wisdom on beastly curses. So also, can it still read then? Or is this like prior to um, the girl who's cursed losing like her ability to read? Interesting. Okay, I guess we we're hiding in this cabinet. Yikes. That is a curse if I've ever seen one. Wow. Try to lift the curse, actually. Is it going to spot me? Hi. I'm not going to hurt you. Want to help? Oh wow, it's not attacking me. I've seen the words of the curse on the walls. Think I know how to lift it.
Oh, all we have to do is eat with it. You tried to bring folk here, convince them to sit at the table with you, right? Well, I'm gonna be your guest now. Your willing guest. It's that simple? Just need a bit for Regis. Oh, there we go. Okay. And now we'll tend to you. Um. Shit. I don't know what to do with the spoons, but. Need to get this right. Words of the curse were None shall sit and dine with you at your table. No spoon you have shall say to you. Never again shall you wish to spy your reflection in the mirror. Okay, so no one will ever want to eat at your table. Well, I'm eating at the table. And then, no spoon will ever sate you. So is that saying, eat without a spoon? Or is that saying, eat with a spoon? Mm. I'm gonna say for now, let's try maybe no spoon. I don't know, because, like, the whole point of this is to act human, and acting human would be eating with a spoon. Eating without a spoon would be acting like a beast. So, I don't know, let's swap spoons. Been searching for the right spoon for years, right? But curses can be tricky. Uh, Key to this one just might be that you can't eat with your own spoon. That's why we've swapped. Ew, do I have to eat this? This is disgusting. Doesn't it paralyze us? This isn't right. I miss something? Listen, gonna stand up real slow. Gotta search the house again. Sit tight, I'll be right back. Calm down. Yikes. Damn it. Didn't work. Ate that vile stuff for nothing. Got the brew for Regis at least. Can't do anything for the white though. Except cut it down. Um. Seems I'll have to kill the white in its own junk heap. Wait, no. I don't want to have to kill it. No, I don't want to kill you. Man. I didn't want to have to kill it. I clearly just chose the wrong choice. Maybe I should have gotten no spoon. Oh, wow. That's a new one. really bad. Damn it. The, I'm just really sad I fucked that up now. Like, maybe I just should've done no spoon. 
Like, my first instinct was to go no spoons, and I ignored myself, so... Honestly, like... That's pretty much just my bad. <laughs> Alright guys, I am going to hold off and wait to report back to Regis with, I guess, the stuff we need to hunt down the Beast of Toussaint, the greater vampire, but poor girl whose curse is dead, so. Oh well, that's life. But really hope you guys enjoy this episode of Witcher 3. Subscribe, leave a like, and I'll see you in the next one.